The JMU Dukes headed down to Blacksburg Saturday afternoon to take on in-state powerhouse the number 13 ranked Virginia Tech Hokies. It was the team's first meeting since 2003 and seventh overall with the Hokies taking each game, outscoring JMU by a score of 90 to nothing in the last till. But from the opening kickoff, this game was a different story as the Dukes picked up a first down on their first offensive play courtesy of running back Scott Noble. Unfortunately, the team would fail to score on their opening drive, giving way to quarterback Tyrod Taylor and the star-packed Virginia Tech offense. Taylor would lead the Hokies on a 17-play, 94-yard drive on their first possession, capped off by a Jarrett Boykin touchdown reception, giving the Hokies a 7-0 lead. But not everything went well for the Virginia Tech offense early, as on the next drive, Taylor coughed up the ball, recovered by JMU, giving the offense another chance to tie it up. But the Dukes couldn't capitalize, as quarterback Drew Dudzik and the team struggled early to click offensively. Tech would tack on a field goal in the second quarter to extend their lead to 10-0. But everything changed for the Dukes later in the second, when Dudzik connected with Jamal Sullivan, who would break a couple tackles and bust out for 77 yards down the sideline for a touchdown, cutting the lead to three. Tech would add a field goal just before halftime, taking a modest 13-7 lead into the break. Fast forward late into the third quarter with the Hokies up 16-7, where Dudzik takes over, running seven yards for the touchdown, cutting the Hokies' lead to two. On the ensuing Virginia Tech possession, Taylor, back to pass, is picked off by JMU safety Jonathan Williams giving JMU a chance to take the lead. We're on the next dive. Dudzik connects with tight end Brian Barlow, putting the Dukes inside the Virginia Tech 25-yard line. Well, a few plays later, Dudzik does it again, fakes the handoff, scampers for a 12-yard touchdown, giving the Dukes an unthinkable 21-16 lead. The JMU defense would hold on late as cornerback Lavander Jones broke up a fourth down pass in the end zone, and on the next drive, linebacker Stefan Robertson forced a Virginia Tech fumble inside the JMU 15-yard line. From there, the Duke fans could smell the victory as the team would run down the clock and a roughing the punter penalty with four seconds left would seal the Hokies' fate as the Dukes began to celebrate the 21-16 triumph, their first victory over a football bowl subdivision school since beating Navy in 1990. After the kneel and the game, JMU head coach Mickey Matthews called it the biggest win of his James Madison University coaching career, surpassing the team's 2004 national championship.